I understand that there's war hawks on both sides that say, you go first. No, you go first. You remove your, you know, you disarm first. But here is the thing. You and many leftists have uh, written uh, open letters about this, and I want to bring this up to you. You have called for Ukraine to come to the table to negotiate with Putin. Um, the fact is, they have, uh, and so did Putin, um, Belarus and France and Germany have tried really, really hard to get them together. They got them together in the Normandy format multiple times. They had multiple presidents on the Ukraine side, of course, because the Russian president is always the same here. But they, they essentially tried really hard to create an agreement. I would argue that Britain and the United States did very little to support the agreement and probably did a lot more promising that if they didn't go for it, that they would be better off. But my question is, here we read, the parliament of Ukraine approved the law on special status of Donbass 17th of March. I think we're talking 2015, as specified by Minsk too. Later in 2019, Ukraine's parliament voted to extend regulations, giving limited self-rule to separatist controlled Eastern regions, a prerequisite for the deal. But somehow, this is the part that I don't understand. The law was immediately criticized by Ukrainian politicians, but also separatist leaders and the Russian government. It would seem that they should be happy. At least the separatists should be happy. They're getting self-rule and a prerequisite. So, what happened to this? Nobody seems to even discuss this. Didn't they at least give it a try on the Ukrainian side? Well, it's very difficult to respond to you because you give a list of a dozen, a couple dozen different points. They're all different. Each of them is questionable. I can start with the first. So you said, I've been trying to convince Ukraine to negotiate. Actually, I haven't said one word about that, not one single word. That's what you're reading on the so-called leftist uh, sources you're looking about. It's not what I said. What I've been talking about is US policy. And what I've said is the United States, Britain behind it, have been acting to try to impede negotiations. And we should stop doing that, we should stop trying to undercut the diplomatic process. As for Ukrainians, they're going to have to decide for themselves what they want. Uh, if we look at it, you see, uh, I have discussed quite a lot these German and French initiatives, which are nothing anywhere near what you described. They were of some importance, but they were very minor, limited. Uh, Putin, stupidly, in my opinion, rejected the French initiatives just flat out, and they were then withdrawn. By the time you get to the NATO summit a couple of weeks ago, France and Germany had completely withdrawn their limited negotiation offers, the Draghi also in Italy. Uh, the, there was a split in NATO for a time between the United States and Britain, which were adamantly blocking negotiations and France, Germany, and Italy, which were tentatively, very tentatively, making some gestures towards a diplomatic settlement. And uh, US power, uh, you, actually Putin settled this by the invasion. He drove Europe into the US pocket. And they pretty much withdrew their efforts. If you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe and then remember to click the little bell icon so you get notifications.